Hey guys, John here and just wanted to do a video um, on the market action in the past couple of days which has been uh, what some are calling a crash and I just want to um, uh, say that this is typical for the cryptocurrency space and I wanted to uh, give some strategies on how to be around to invest and to profit from a cryptocurrency even in extreme down moves like we've seen in the past couple of days. The cryptocurrency space is not going anywhere. Um, Bank of Japan, the largest bank of Japan, said that they were going to open up their own cryptocurrency exchange. I think we're going to see in uh, the next several months, the next couple years, uh, the largest banks in America um, open up their own cryptocurrency exchanges. I'm pretty sure that there's already talks uh, that are being had in the back boardrooms of how to make that happen. We've seen adoption um, as far as listing on the futures exchanges of uh, Bitcoin, but I think there's going to be many more um, currencies to follow that um, and we haven't even seen big money like pensions and endowments uh, make their way into the cryptocurrency space because uh, the custodial back-end framework is doesn't allow for it but you're seeing regulations across every nation uh, they all want to regulate cryptocurrency now um, because it's big enough and they see the future in it the staying power that they want to profit from it and I think that they're actually going to adopt it, that it's almost inevitable that they're gonna adopt blockchain technology, uh, which becomes a huge concern for privacy and for uh, freedom, in my opinion. Um, and I think that's one of the largest concerns that I have for, um, for blockchain technology is it's, it's ledger technology. And if uh, your private keys can be attached to your person, you will have no privacy or no control over what you buy and sell. And I have uh, a dark feeling that that's where government control is going to lead to within my lifetime. But um, that is beyond the point and uh, that's a different story. Uh, what I want to talk about today is because blockchain is not going anywhere, how if you're listening to this video, consider yourself very blessed because 90% of people out there do not know how to get into this space and the big money has yet to enter this space and so if you wisely invest now uh, you will be sitting on huge profit in five to ten years and so how do you do that and how do you protect yourself uh, from large swings in the market that uh, we've seen for the past couple of days and I believe that that it comes down to controlling your risk at market entry the only time you can control risk is when you enter the market and it's all uh, due to your position size. One of the things that they say in the market is that if you don't control greed on the way up, that fear will control you on the way down. And so you have to be very um, uh, disciplined in your approach to the markets. And I'll give you the strategy that I use. You can use any strategy that follows uh, those tenets of the market. Uh, to control greed and it's only through controlling greed that you'll be able to control fear um, but what I've done is taken 10% of my portfolio uh, my traditional portfolio and put that into crypto and so I did that in November and from there it went up 400% and with this downturn I'm only up now about a hundred percent in the market and um, which is fine to me um, but my rule of thumb is that I'll never put more of 10% of my total portfolio at risk at any one time. And normally it's less than that, but because uh, I know that cryptocurrency has a, a future, I'm willing to put 10% into something long term. And when I say long term, 5 to 10 years. So with that 10% um, uh, that I invested into the market, it went up 400% with this pullback. I'm up 100%, but I'm using this pullback to actually invest another 10% into the market because I'm up 100%. So what I bank on are 50% retracements in this market. And so if we do pull back 50% from here, it still hasn't touched my principal. So what I'm doing now is I'm using this pullback to invest another 10% of my portfolio. So all together now with this pullback I'll have 20% of my portfolio invested but still less than 10% at risk if the market pulls back 50% um, I'm very 
I don't think that the market will pull back 50% from the current levels that it's at. And uh, so I, I do feel like the pot odds are in my favor if I do put another 10% in, uh, in cryptocurrency. So my long-term game plan is I don't plan on putting any more money into crypto, uh, but I want to start this year off, and it, this is a perfect opportunity uh, to start this year off with my maximum amount of money that I'm willing to put in. Um, and because I have profit, a lot of that is not at risk. Um, and with that, when, if and when uh, my crypto portfolio is equal to an amount that my principal that is in that uh, investment is less than 10%, that's when I'm going to pull that 10% out. So a lot of people are asking me, when are you going to cash out of crypto? When are you going to close out your positions and you know put everything back? Um, my plan is never. I'm never going to do that. I am planning to take out my principal uh, when my total crypto portfolio is large enough that uh, my initial principal position is less than 10%, I'll take that out and put that somewhere else. But as far as uh, closing out all my crypto positions, I'm never going to do that uh, because I do believe it's the future. So um, so hope that video helped and I hope that uh, this year will be a super profitable year for you. Don't trade big, trade small, um, think long term and know that you're blessed if you are even remotely uh, involved in this space because uh, I believe that you're going to see thousands of percent return within the next five to ten years if you do it right. So control greed on the way up or fear will control you on the way down. So uh, hope you have a great 2018. Click subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.